praise. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We extol your name. We magnify the name. Yeah, we lift up the name. Yeah, you are highly exalted him and give him such a name. Now that his name every knee shall bow and let it be so in accordance with your word. In the name of Jesus, let the forces of darkness begin to bow to the authority and the power that the name of Jesus constitute. Let them be subdued. Let them comply. Let them be subjected to the authority of the power of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, that the demon are subjected unto us in your name. Makete biba katashi bibi lebe biba latashi karalabu miko roshi kata lebe baba ba yela tamba yela bo hunto mo mi shabrabi kutomba kinte me me lete se bibi lebe biba latasata ye lete biba kutom deploy right now my father my God send help from your sanctuary in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mashe kalalalaba sata ye kalalalabo makata lata shakalalalaba sata ye lata samba dispatch the angelic horse makata ye to contend with those that contend with us in the name of Jesus to fight against those that fight against us in the name of Jesus mashakata take shield and bukla O oh God stand up for our defense in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth me lete be me lete mi mi kata ma kata lete mi mi kata lete ye kararara bu soto let the anointing that break forth let the anointing that break through let the anointing of the spirit be made manifest in this place this day in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let there be an explosion of the miraculous let there be relocation of wealth. Let there be the tran divine transferal of wealth. Let the wealth that has been laid up for the just. Hallelujah katashe katai that the wicked have been laid up. Hallelujah. Let it be transferred unto the just. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let there be relocation of wealth. In the name of Jesus in riches in secret places. Treasures of darkness be relocated right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mama Shekalabo. We relocated right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They said we shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. Let it be so in accordance with your word. In the name of Jesus. Every blessing that you bless us sweet in heavenly places. In Christ Jesus, let the manifestation of that reality begin to manifest. Begin to manifest. Begin to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mashe Biba. Libiba. Libaba Kata Lakoto Shokolobu Shadaba. Misha Karabu Satobi Lakatari Karaba Sataye. I believe, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that try to change things. I believe, O oh dear God, that try to make sense. I believe, dear God, when we continue in prayer. Yea, the hand of God is at work. The hand of God is moving on our behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my yellow hunter, me shadaba. Me shakaraba. We thank you, Papa. We bless you, Daddy God, and we glorify your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ancient of this, as old as you are, as old as you are. 
You will never change, you will never change You ancient of days, ancient of days As old as you are, as old as you are You will never change Oh ancient of days, hallelujah Mama, mama, kete As old as you are, as old as you are you will never change. Amen. 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 And again, I say you are welcome wherever you are joining us from today across the globe. As usual, today it's a prayer meeting. And it is called 60 Minutes of Glory. Where the word of God comes alive, where all things are possible. And today we are here with the intent and the aim. To seek the face of the Lord. To call upon him while he is near. And we know that he's only just a prayer away. Because to do good and communicate with such sacrifice... He is well pleased that why we pray. Praise God. Bless his holy name. And daddy, I say you are welcome. And sister Mariam, you are welcome. And sister Elder Hilda, you are welcome. Praise Master Jesus. My mama is not feeling so well today. And she asks that we should remember her in prayer today. Amen. And I believe later others will be joining us. But we will continue and run the race that is set before us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And I would ask Sister Mariam. Sister Mariam, are you there? If Sister Mariam is there, I would ask her if she could um, just lift up her voice and to bless the name of the Lord with a song. Can you hear me? Because my, my, my thing is, is frozen. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I believe we can okay. all hear you. But I can't change my my my, my screen. My the, the, the picture is frozen. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> praise God. Bless you. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that He is living. Whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer, and just the time I need him, he's always near. Jesus leads today. He walks yes. with me and he talks with me. Along life's narrow way. He leads. He leads. Salvation to So loving 
Amen. 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 He lives within my heart. Praise God. That's where he resides. That's where he dwells. Inside of the heart of the believer. Praise King Jesus. Bless his holy name. Anyone have any testimony or uh, any revelation that they would like to share with us at this point in time? Amen. Praise is wonderful name. I um, have a little revelation that I think it have a little significant to it. Because during the revelation, I was hearing people speaking. And they were speaking in regards to something that I prayed about i prayed about it in the night and then have this revelation and in this revelation i saw an angel and this angel was as tall as a two-story house this angel he was Dressed in his suit and was really, really tall as a two-story house. And these people that I heard that was speaking, I didn't see them. But they were speaking something which I deem a revelation. And I wouldn't say of such a revelation, but a confirmation. That in time to come, God will bring me to a place named China to do ministry. Amen? Amen. That in time to come, God will bring me to a place called China to do ministry. Because Amen. that's is something that I prayed about and I pray along this line that the Spirit will show things to come and that's the revelation that I have received Amen Praise Master Jesus We thank Him, we bless Him, we praise and we glorify His name And I'm going to go into the book of St. Luke that we could look in the book of St. Luke. St. Luke 5. And we are reading from verse 12 to verse 18. Praise Master Jesus. And it came to pass when he was in a certain city. Behold a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face, and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou will, thou can make me clean. And he put forth his hand, and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go and show thyself to the priest and offer for thy cleansing according as Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But so much the more when there a fame abroad of him, and great multitude came to get that to ear. And to be healed by him of their infirmities. And he withdrew himself 
into the wilderness and prayed. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching that there was Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee, and Judea, and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal him. Let us stop there. Glory to his marvelous and wonderful name. And the next Bible reading is taken from the book of St. John 11. And we are reading from verse 39 and to 47. Can someone do us the courtesy of reading St. John 11, 39 to 47? Amen. Please. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not uh, unto thee that if thou wouldst believe, that <clears throat> if thou dost believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they might believe that thou hast sent me. And when he had thus um, had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound with a napkin. Jesus saith unto him, Loose him unto them, loose him. And let him go. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, uh, <clears throat> What do we do? Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, it's a bit blurred there. What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. Amen. Amen. Is it, is it to yeah, that, seven? No, that's how, that's okay. Forty-seven. So they yeah. say, what do we do? For this man doeth many miracles. And in the Bible text that we have previously read, it was saying that the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Amen? Amen. So, we're going to thank God for his word again. We're going to lift up our voice and begin to appreciate him again. And we are believing mm, that we as children of the most high God, that the spiritual reality of the kingdom might be actualized, come alive within each and every one of us. Let us pray. Father, Lord, in the mighty and the awesome name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for the encouragement that we have received from your word today. We thank you for the strength that we have received from hearing such a word that your power was present to heal them. Oh God of heaven and earth, yeah, they were so angry that they begin to say, what can we do? 
This man do so much miracles. Father, in the name of Jesus, the word said, unless they see signs and wonders, they will not believe. Therefore, Father, may you grant signs and wonders to be done by our hand in this present day and age. May we walk in that revelation. May we walk in that truth that as he is, so are we in this world. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, isn't you the one that anoint? Isn't you the one that divinely enable and empower your people to do great exploit? Father, we pray that your anointing may come upon us that we might do the impossible, that we might walk as Jesus walk and talk as Jesus talk. Yea, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, that we will meet the people at the point of their need. That those that need restoration of health will receive restoration of health. Those that need restoration of their finance will their their finance being restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, the Bible led us that Jesus was a miracle working God and he said the works that he do we shall also do and greater yes. works because he have gone unto his father. Oh, my father, my God, we are believing that we are living in that prophetic timetable. And we are believing, no oh God, for your word said he who come to you must believe that you is and you is a reward of them that diligently seek you. And to thee, oh God, that is the aim, that is the goal, that is the purpose to see you, O oh God, that your will might be done, and that your kingdom might come, that we might be busy doing our Father business. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we will lay aside our agenda and we will embrace your agenda, Father. Help us, help us, O oh God. To do that which is right. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you bless us this day. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even those who are not in line with us today. Father, locate them with the same blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Bible says uh, uh, to remain in the camp uh, and the spirit came upon them and they were prophesying in the camp. Uh, Father, there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus, may you send forth the anointing. Uh, unleash your holy anointing this day. Uh, let your kingdom come. Uh, let your will be done. We thank you for your word and we believe your word and we receive and embrace your word. May your word come alive within us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 We are here. And we are here on divine assignment. We are here on a divine mandate. Hallelujah. To engage the Almighty God in prayer. Because he said with such sacrifice, he is well pleased. Is he who have invited us to come and make prayer unto him. It's he who have invited us saying that is oh shall we call a house of 
praya pahal nishanan dat man a to praya hanatu fient and today as we take on board this command in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth with a make up mind hallelujah that indeed we will give him no rest until he hearken unto our voice until he do that which we ask him to do because he said, whatever we ask in prayer, believing we shall love whatsoever we ask if we doubt not in our heart. Praise God. Bless Praise his God. holy and wonderful name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So I would ask Sister Mariam. Mariam. Have you anything that you think that at this junction we should really commit to prayer? Uh, well, we've been um, reading in the scriptures about Jesus, how he healed the man with the leprosy, and he healed many, many, people, many people gathered to him, um, and he healed them, and it showed that he demonstrated the power that was within him to heal. And we know that um, <clears throat> we've been praying about these things. There are many people who are who got um, who are sick, and uh, and as we are on these scriptures, I think we should commit Sister Merlin in prayer Amen. at this juncture. Amen. Um, you know, specifically, okay. um, woman of God, um, dedicated to His Word, dedicated to serving him and the enemy is afflicted her body at this time and we know it's only temporary you know even as i gave my testimony this uh on sunday it's only temporary because the lord is on the job Amen. he's doing his work in our situation so i think we should dedicate this this particular prayer point to to praying for her amen let us leave our voice again and we going to pray for Sister Marilyn and remember the other sisters and like, brothers. Like, yeah, sorry, um, Pastor um, Danny. Like, how oh, are you praying for Sister Marilyn? Can we pray for another sister who is in the hospital with COVID, I think? Mm -hmm. Her name is Sister Corinne. Okay. So, yeah. we're going to pray for as many that we know that yes. are yeah, being that afflicted. Auntie. And Patrick, a lot of people in the hospital with this COVID. Okay. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty and the awesome name of Jesus, Lord God, there is a need. There is a cause, dear God. Why we need what we say we need. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yeah, you said your people will be willing in the day of your power. Yeah, as many as receive you, you gave them power. Let that which has been given, no oh God, begin to manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that as we intercede on behalf of those that are ill, those that are sick, let there be no distance in the realm of the Spirit. Let the word go forth. Let the word heal and deliver them from their destruction. In the name of Jesus, we bring Sister Merle, we bring Brother Patrick, we we bring Sister Corinne, Father, we bring as many, hallelujah, that is being affected one way by whatever illness or sickness right now in the name of Jesus. Your word said, depending to shall agree touching anything, it shall be done of them of you in heaven. Therefore, Father, we rebuke the illnesses, we rebuke the sickness. Witnesses. We rebuke these diseases in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my 
militar ni mi kalalalalaba we rebuke the spirit behind this affliction ma shekete ye kalalalalabo soto ye kalalalaba sata ye kata has we begin to pray let the kingdom of darkness be traumatized let them be terrified right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth ma shekalalalalabo let the word become quick and powerful and sharper than any double edged sword ma she bi bi le te bi ba la ta ma mi mi kalalalalabo soto le bi ba ka ta ye kalalalalabo soto ni le te se bi bi le bi ba 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 she bi bi le bi ba Lady Shalai Kalalalabo, Lady Shakalalabo Soto Shakalala, Lady Kalalala Yat Kilaki Akabu, who the Atuko, who the Yatuko, the Yatuko, the Yuk and the Kadala Shalai, Lati Kalalabo, the Yakudum, by ye, Lady Pilam Kunta Bahanti Lakade, Lady B. Bakaraba, Bahanti Akurubu Shalabo, Me Kalalaba Sata, ye Kalalaba Hinkinte, ye Kalalabo Hunt to me, me Kate, Big Lady Baba, Baba, Bobo, Kotom, ye Kalalaba. Baba Baba Ye Lati Shakarala Lata Shakarala Ye Kalabu Shalavi Kalalaba Me Kalalaba Sataye Me Kalalaba Sataye Me Kalalaba Makata Ye Kalalaba Sataye Le Shakaralaba Sata Shakaralaba In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth In Jesus Mighty name. And as we thank today, you live, you're still alive, and you're still working, Lord. So we give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. There was a man in the Bible by the name of King Solomon. And Solomon did something that caught the Lord attention by the sacrifice that he have offered up unto the most high God. And God appeared unto him and God said, Ask whatsoever you will. And he asked and he asked for an understanding heart. 